everybody, I am Bridget. And I'm Carla with Hardwood Lumber. Welcome back everybody. So um, today we're going to get some education on what is we have here, what do we have here? Okay, today we are looking at blue pine. Awesome. Okay, so this is this is actually locally harvested. This is, uh, it is longleaf pine and it actually has some tints of blue running through that. And it is known as beetle kill pine, blue, uh, blue stained pine, denim pine, I've even heard it called Wahoo Pine. Wahoo! Wahoo! <laughs> yes, local, uh, up in, um, I think, around Dade City. You'll hear, oh, okay. Called, you'll hear it All called right. Wahoo Pine. Um, and basically what is happening is beetles will, uh, you can't stop them. They will find a home in, mm. and burrow into the wood. They bring a fungus with them. So that fungus actually infects the tree. Uh, the beetle has cut off circulation in the tree. Over time, that will kill the tree and cause it to rot. Oh. So once a tree has been identified, as having beetles in it, they'll go in and they'll, har they'll harvest the tree and salvage the wood. They, you know, they put it through the kiln, they do the insect kill on it, um, and it, it becomes usable wood at that point. It just, from the beetles itself, it develops a lot of color. You want, I bet if you hit it uh, with the spray bottle over there, we can see a lot of color on it. So now this fungus, is it is it dangerous or is it safe to use? It's safe to use. It's not a. It's not a dangerous. It's not toxic. Oh wow, that's um, beautiful. You know, uh, it, especially once the tree goes through the kilns and everything, it, it's safe to use. It's the kind of thing. Um, think of some projects this might be cool to use on with this kind of grain and coloring. This is actually. I would think of you know like maybe like a table for your entryway or, um, or a bench for your entryway. Oh, a bench would be great. Uh, this would be a nice mantle if you were looking for something a little bit smaller or um, even a nice coffee table. I have seen people actually they'll take blue pine and they'll mill it to tongue and groove and they'll use it for their walls. That's it, super cool. It gets really dramatic. The oh my color gosh. And the grain and there's some yeah. creation going on there. Um, so it's really to turn something, you know, a, a negative, unfortunate thing that's happening happening naturally in the environment and turn it into something beautiful and wonderful and useful. I've even seen jewelry done with beetle kill Oh my gosh, wow. It, it gets so much of a unique color. Yeah, it. it's it's got like sort of a gray blue it, in it, here. This particular piece has a, has a real pale blue. Sometimes it gets really a lot stronger in color. It's not unusual to see that. You know, pine itself um, has a Jenko hardness rating of around uh, 870 to, you know, the low 900. Not the hardest wood, not the softest wood, yeah. so it's pretty versatile. Um, you know, it, it, you do see some um, expansion and contraction with it, but it's a fairly stable wood, especially um, if it's, you know, gone through a good kiln dry process, you yeah. can come out with some good stuff. Wow, that's really cool. If you ever get the opportunity to work with blue pine, we definitely hope that you grab that experience and run with it. It would be a great way to unleash your creativity, to find something beautiful and something amazing to build within your home. Please remember, whatever you build, keep it sustainable. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.